If you are a game developer or filmmaker using Unreal Engine 5.7.1, and you use metahumans, you've probably had this issue at least once where their hair, their eyebrows, and their grooms basically explode and go absolutely crazy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this and talk about what's gonna be happening in the future. So let's look at the problem. Right now we are zooming in on the character and we can see that the groom looks slightly undesirable. So I made a post about this on LinkedIn. This is the post here from roughly six days ago. And I was complaining about it and I'd heard this, I've, I had heard of this issue from other people. And of course, everyone else who's using it has the same issue. But luckily, um, a fellow Unreal Engine user named Elvis uh, Morelli posted the fix for it. So shout out to Elvis Morelli and I'll show you what that looks like to do it. On top of that, I made a post on the Unreal Engine community developer forum under MetaHumans. And it's confirmed by Epic Games that this is going to be fixed relatively soon. And if you want to grab the fix now, it's actually already on GitHub. So if you're able to do that type of, you know, rebuilding the engine yourself from source, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, for everyone else, here's how we fix it in Unreal Engine 5.7.1 today. So here we are with our beautiful metahuman groom and things are looking a little bit crazy. And like Elvis said, the main culprit here is the binding asset. So I'm gonna grab the hair. That is a wild look. <laughs> it looks pretty interesting. And what we wanna do is scroll down and find the binding asset. So we're gonna double click this it opens it up and all we want to do is hit this little folder button which is going to basically reference and uh, show in finder or slash content browser where the skeletal mesh for the face is so right so this is selected we go back to the binding and we're going to click on the little arrow here and we're going to assign the same mesh to the source skeletal mesh compile and that is it we're going to want to do this for every one of the grooms and confirm that it's working so i've saved this one for the hair the hair looks great, right? It's subtle um, if you're not looking very close, but she has hair on her nose, which shouldn't be there. So that is going to be, um, all of these need this fix basically. So let's go to the binding asset for the peach fuzz. Again, this is already selected from before. So this is relatively easy and save. And then we're gonna go to, oop, not the creator. We're gonna go to eyelashes, same issues, groom asset, Oop, wrong one, sorry. We're gonna do the uh, binding asset. And I keep going to the creator, binding assets here. I'm gonna click this and save. Eyelashes look good. And finally should be eyebrows. She doesn't have a beard and mustache, so we're not gonna have that issue. Let's go to the binding asset and assign the skeletal mesh down there. Oops, I did the groom in that case. That's the wrong one, we're gonna do it. And this one, luckily it didn't let me do that. And we save and is our metahuman back to normal they are looking fairly normal. So easy fix. Uh, that was just like an LED switch to card hair. If you're on, I forget if grooms work on Mac. Do they work on Mac? That would be amazing because I make Mac games. But um, if you're on a Mac, it was using card hair anyway because you can't render grooms unless something has changed. So you weren't having that issue. And if you were using MetaHumans for games only, you probably weren't using the strand grooms anyway. So this is really for the filmmakers and like the cinematic makers um, who use Unreal Engine. This is that fix, relatively simple. And, um, you know, just wanted to put that out there because I'm going to be doing a lot more Unreal Engine 5.7 work with mocap, some new tech that's coming out, and some tutorials, again, having to do with metahumans and mocap and game development and all that. There will be a decent amount of AI in it, as you may have been seeing in my past posts. However, most of my AI work is still revolving around how do we make things easier for artists when using metahumans. It's a lot of work to make them clothing, to do the sims, to do their grooms, to build the environments, to animate them, to light them, to film them. Everyone who's done this knows that it's a lot of work. And if some of these AI and generative AI tools can make that better to make your games look better and to give you more time to put the focus on where you want, I'm all for that. And I'm gonna continue exploring that as well. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video and I'll see you on the next one. In Unreal Engine 5.7.1, there is an issue with meta-human hair. Yikes. But don't worry, today I'll show you how to fix it. And it's already going to be addressed in the next hotfix.